Hey, my name is Dr. Knott. Welcome back to A Skeptic's Guide to Magic at Normal Volume. So, sorry about that in the last episode, but I had a setting for another game, the desktop audio at a certain level in OBS, and I forgot to change it. But here we go, we're back to normal, let's do this. Chapter 8, Wicked Delights. Alright, let's go to the club. Let's see what these two are talking about. You heard the new Moby album? Totally banging. Right. Nice night for it. And then some trash. What a mess. Oh, whoa, what was that? Whoa. She has a lot of piercings. Hey there, first time here? Mm. Cool, no need to be nervous. Most of us aren't half as scary as we look. What can I do for you? Do you run this place? Yeah, I do with my husband. Your husband? Mm-hmm, it's good old-fashioned, wholesome family business. I see. Anyway, since it's your first time, let me go over the rules. Don't touch anyone without their consent. Ask before using the club's equipment. Most importantly, don't judge anyone for what they get up to in here. At the end of the day, we're all pervs, right? Some more than others. A girl named Jade ever come in here? Hmm, I think I've met a few Jades over the years. We'll have to be more specific. Ginger hair, bad attitude. That does ring a bell. She used to come and spend time in the VIP room, I think. I haven't seen her here lately, though. Alright, let's end it. Let's go to- oh my. Let's see, so, <laughs> look, I don't even- I think I know what's going on, but let's see. Oh, spanking. Okay, that's actually better than I thought was happening. He's been very bad. There are far more reasonable judicial measures. Yeah, but are they as much fun? Indeed, indeed. What is she doing here? Oh, he's- he's chained to a wall. I thought that was like a hat. That's like a bald person. Okay. You can whip me if you like. Oh, that's it? Do I have a whip? No, of course not. How about a blowtorch? <laughs> I doubt that's the kind of pain he enjoys. Yeah, oh, here's a female. Alright. She's tied up. Oh no, a big strong man approaches. I hope he doesn't ravish me or anything. Oh, just like that? Um... Spike horn. Oh, come on. Honk at her. It's a red candelabra with black candles. Can we take it? Nobody will miss just one candle. Perfect. The middle one, too. Nice. Alright. A cage. What's wrong with these people? What do you mean? It's just a cage. Just a couple of empty cups. Nice potted plants. Those are kind of an in-joke around here. They're called not weed, you see. Or smart weed, as in, ow, that smarts. Can I take one? Let's take a tiny bit of this. With her just watching? All right, no problem. Empty beer bottles. What do we have here? Enjoy the view, friend. What's the view? This isn't nearly as sexy as I thought it would be. Yeah, well. Can I take another one? No. Fine. Let's talk to this guy. Members only. I only want a quick look inside. I'm looking for someone here. Ain't we all? Look, we're both reasonable men. Perhaps I should introduce myself. My name's Lester Chapman. Nice to meet you, Lester. They call me Houdini. Interesting name. Nobody's ever put me in a knot that I couldn't get out of. Which for someone like my... I'm oh, sorry. Which, for someone with my kink, is a bit of a curse, actually. You can free yourself from any knot? That's right. If you find yourself with a spare bit of rope, you're welcome to give it a try. Do I? Time to go find some rope, apparently. Hmm. But I feel like... Let's see. See, she's tied up with some rope. I kind of... Let's see what we can do. 
Because I don't think there's just going to be rope anywhere. Let's see if we can just cut her. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hey! What's the big idea? You seem to be in some distress. Yeah, well, maybe I like being in distress. Bloody white knights. Do you mind if I keep the rope? Whatever, go spoil someone else's fun. Is she, like, not wearing a top? Is she just standing there? I'll talk to you. I'm sorry. Spoil sport. Okay, whatever. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna tie you right here. Actually... Alright, let's do it. Let's just try it. Where is it? Board. Aha, you wanna try trussing up Houdini, huh? Do your worst. As tight as he like. That should hold him. Yeah, we'll see about that. Got it. Here's your rope back. Better luck next time. I wonder... Do we have... Oh. Her durable binding. Increases an ordinary knot with improbable durability. Okay. So, how? when can I use this? Like right now? I think I should use this on a knot that needs to be made stronger. Right. Oh, maybe when he's wiggling I do it. Oh, okay. Want to try again? Sure do, buddy. Alright, let me click on it. Maybe this time it'll hold. Click. Wait. This one, go. I think I should use this on a knot. I know, I have a knot. Damn it. Here's your rope back. Better luck next time. Hmm. I love my job is all he has to say to me, unless I... So I have to have a knot that's presently in knot form. I can't, like, click on it, though. Oh, here, maybe. Oh, here we go. So I, I had to, like, use my space bar. Like, I couldn't actually click on it with my mouse. Um, an object with binds without binding, or which binds without binding? Um, oh, the wedding ring we've been holding forever. By knot of one, the spell's begun. By knot of two, the binding's true. By knot of three, so shall it be. Sucka. What the heck? Achievement unlocked captor. I don't think you'll be going anywhere for a while. Bollocks, no knot can hold me. Grr. All right, bye. Hey, y'all. Just go straight to the counter. Haven't heard much noise from the other room. Guess the party hasn't gotten going yet. Oh, that's all you have to say to me? Fine. Let's look at everything, so you never know. The wine is a good vintage. I like these candles. Yep, wine again. What's this? Just the notepad from one of the waitresses. Hmm, these girls are gorgeous. Hi, my name's John Table. Uh, okay. Never thought my advanced physics degree would lead to this. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's what's his face? Well, well, look who it is, Mr. Detective. Devil Dog, I should have expected to find you here. Probably. And I shouldn't be surprised to see you either. I can usually tell a fellow alpha when I meet one. Hmm. How's the investigation going? I take it you haven't found the ones who did the, who did Jason in yet. Not yet. I'm looking for a friend of yours, actually. A girl named Jade. Ah, yes. Jade. Nice lass. I met her right here in this club, actually. It's a good place to find people with common interests. Where can I find her? Hmm, not sure. I haven't seen her in a couple of days. She was blubbering too much, so I sent her away. Blubbering? Yeah. 
crying women don't really do it for me, you know? Though I sometimes partial, or though I am sometimes partial to screaming. Uh huh. Any idea where she might have gone? Hmm. She has connections with a street gang based on, based over in Warstown. <laughs> what am I reading? Warstone Tower. What did she say? They call themselves the Dreads. Bunch of kids playing at being gangsters. Warstone Tower, eh? Thanks, I'll check it out. Good luck, detective. And my offer still stands. When you find the ones who killed Jason, me and the boys will take care of them for you. No questions asked. Alright, Warstone Tower. Let's take a look around here. I'm not here to sit around. I don't want you to sit around. Can you look at the flipping book over there? Is that something? Yeah, apparently not. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Should we let this guy go, or are we gonna leave him bound here forever? Oh, there he is. Free, finally! Congratulations. Quite the rope master, aren't you? How about we swap numbers? Thanks, but you're not my type. Suit yourself. Alright. That wasn't as uh, exciting as I thought it was gonna be in there. It's pretty dull, if you ask me. Alright, Warstone Tower, right here. Just as big as the Forensics Lab. Wow. What is this music? Let's talk to this person over here quickly. Oh, oh yeah, the beat. Your artwork. Ha! This is far beneath my abilities, believe me. It is a bit minimalist, I suppose. Oh shit. You're searching for someone. A group of people, actually. A gang who call themselves the Dreads. You're going to die up there. Pardon? What the hell do you know about... You'll find what you need on the sixth floor. Thanks. Little puppers. Alright. So I did some sleuthing around online because I was just looking up stuff about this game because I was curious. And I didn't get any spoilers, okay? But I, I read in a location online that save before you enter the apartment. So I'm gonna do that. So we can go up the elevator, but then we should save. I don't know why. It just says we highly recommend that you save before. Probably because we might actually die, and I wonder if I lose my my, my uh, save. So I'm gonna save right here before we go in. Make sure it's saved. 554. I think that's saved, right? Okay, good. Triple save. Surely nothing bad will happen now, right? Um, I don't know which one is the apartment, but let's check this one. Trust me, the Lazars wouldn't dare send any of their boys over, not while I'm here. Right, you're such a big hard man, ain't ya? Funny, your mom said the same thing to me last night. Shut your face, you twat! Uh, here I come, I'm a... Lazar or whatever. The door isn't shut properly. Sorry to intrude. What the hell? Ah, balls! Whoa, hang on a mo- I didn't come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, you fucking found it, haven't ya? This is our turf, man. Hell of a nerve after what your boy said to Charlie. Now look, I don't even- Francis? No. I'm dead? This is death? Jesus, fuck. Bit too sharp on the trigger there, lethal weapon. On sight means on sight, bruv. Just help me get him inside, alright? 
Let me down, you bastards. Where are they taking my body? Are we like now? Oh boy. Probably lock this door. But if Patrick Swayze films have any truth to them. Well, they're true. They're true. So we're dead? Oh my god. What if someone calls the cops? This is bad, man. Real bad. Nobody's calling shit, Stacy. People in this tower know better than to grass us up. We're gonna have to step up our game. I'm surprised that the Lazars would send just one bloke. Must have fancied himself some kind of Rambo. Or he wasn't with the Lazars. You know something about this, Jade? No. Then why don't you keep your trap shut until I have a use for it? Whatever. Damn it, Jade, tell them the truth. My death will not incite a gang war. Ghost or not, there's gotta be something I can do. What do you mean? Can I, like, move things? Looks real. Nice. Oh, we're gonna freak them out. Alright, let's find everything that we can touch. Jesus, who switched the tally on? Beats me, lost the remote yonks ago. What? I'm gonna do it again. Weird. Tried that already. Okay. What else can I touch? Chairs? My days of sitting around are behind me. Fine. Ah! What's wrong with the fridge? Close it, Jade. The heck is going on around here? What was that? The hot plate just turned itself on. Seriously, I'm about to freak out. Clumsy bitch! Nearly gave me a bloody heart attack. I I didn't touch them, I swear. This is some voodoo shit, man. Shut up, it ain't nothing like that. Right, that's enough. Whoever's messing around with us had better stop it right now. I saw a film about this. It's one of them paltry geists. That guy's ghost is haunting us. This fucking nutter? You think he was some kind of witch doctor or what? He was a wizard. What? He's been hunting me, him and a couple of others. So he's not with the Lazars? He came here after you? Why do you think I'm here, Sam? Because I enjoy your charming personality? I needed you to protect me, and you did. What the hell did he want with you? I'm not the one they want. It's my old master, boyfriend, whatever. He murdered somebody. And he has a couple others locked up under the old cinema. What? Ah, oh, shit. What are we gonna do? Nothing. We wait until it gets proper dark and we find somewhere to bury this guy. Otherwise this, uh, otherwise none of this is any of our business, alright? And you'll be doing the fucking digging. Fine. So Peter has other victims locked away under the abandoned cinema. I need to tell Fee about this, somehow. She's probably still over with the Guardians. What, am I gonna go, like, as a ghost? Apparently I am, okay. What, like, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, okay. Aw, oh, hell. Hold. Not. Yet. Bios? You were killed, Lester Chapman. Yeah, I noticed. This does not bode well for our future relationship. Hmm. 
You haven't been much of a protector, you know that? We could not alter this eventuality. It is unfortunate. Fuck that. You're the one who governs over life and death, aren't you? Can't you help me? It is what you if it is what you desire, I can revive you. But such things come at a cost, always. I will not command you to carry such a burden. It is your choice, Lester. You can accept your death, or you can choose new life. But it will change you. I saw my son. If I choose death, I can be with him? Yes. B and Val, would they be okay without me? They are in grave danger. More than this, I cannot say. What will be your fate, Lester Chapman? Will you choose life or death? Oh, I get it. We saved here because then, I, I think, if we choose life, we'll keep playing, right? But if we choose death, we might have like a, an ending with our son. So I'm going to choose death here, and then in the next episode, I'm going to go back to that save point, and we're going to choose life at this point. So I'm going to choose death. We're going to see this. See what happens. I'm just so tired, Bios. How much weight can one man carry on his shoulders? When Francis died, I, I wanted to die with him. But I couldn't. I had to carry on. I can't do it anymore, do you hear? He needs me. I need him. I choose death. Very well. Your son awaits beyond the portal. What portal? Alright. Going beyond the portal. Francis. Son. Your dad's on the way. Achievement unlocked, conclusion, rip. Alright. I'm gonna let this play out, but no. Another episode will come next time. And we're gonna continue playing, so I'm not giving my opinion yet. We're gonna keep playing the game. I'm just gonna let this roll. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Paralyzed with the thoughts receding. Current sweeps you with the silent bleeding. Through the heart into the darkest place. We'll turn around, there's nothing to see here. Run away, no reason to be here. It's the ghost who never goes away. around your neck You take whatever's left that you could salvage from the wreck And the hard past will follow you like a lost dog on the beach Nipping at your trail till you've drifted out of reach Yeah Turn around, there's nothing to see here Run away, no reason to be here It's the ghost who never
Where the hell are you, Lester? 